Hi, Luke. Hi, Jack. That's the intro. Okay. <laughs> That's the best intro. It is. Right. That's so, best intro. Mr. Luke Lane, it's got to be said, you're a busy boy because um, just before uh, we, well, when I locked you in for your interview, I, I did a little bit of snooping and I've listed yes. everything you've been involved with. Usually it's a voice acting credit. So, oh my God. Uh, well, every person, not every individual episode, we'd be here all oh, day. Oh, okay. Yes. Right, uh, we here. would. Let's see, let's see if I've missed out any, right? Okay. So, I'm going to mute my phone because it just went off. But yes, keep yeah. going. Um, so I, bet, yes, I need to check mine actually. Yeah, mine's good. Right. So I've All got right. Overton Audios, MB and Homeland, Venus Flint, uh, CBHL Productions, Phipps Movie Productions, Fractured Timeline, The Queer Doctor, and Imagine Productions. Have I missed any? Uh, Redemption Studios. That's uh, my friend Jericho Kane. Redemption. That, that's very early work though. So I don't, I don't blame you for skipping over that. Well, I did well. I'll take it. That was yeah. very early YouTube Luke. Ah, that's the best kind. Very early. Uh, yes. It's always the best version. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, first of all, uh, aside from that, one of the things I, for some reason, didn't put down, Vocalab. That's what I didn't uh, say out loud. And that's kind of the reason why I reached out to you in particular. I mean, you've been on my list for a while, but yes. with The Lost Soldier coming out, uh, I must ask, yes. uh, how did that? How did you get involved with Vocalab? Uh, it's actually a very interesting story because how I got involved in it was even before I was casted in it. So I got a message from uh, Daniel J. Patton asking, hey, Luke, do you know anyone who can do an American accent? And obviously I am of the US of A, so, but, I, but at the same time I was thinking, mm, I don't want to immediately say me because that's a little bit narcissistic of myself. So I threw around some people and that was the end of that. Then I checked my inbox the next day and I'm like, email from Vocal Lab Productions. Hi Luke, Daniel J. Patton has recommended you as a Dalek voice actor. We've got an audio coming up about uh, a narration from the Dalek from Dalek. And I was like, Dan, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> and that was it. And that, that just sealed the deal. And it, like in their email, it said, you know, we've got Pete Walsh as the ninth doctor, Tom Walker as the war doctor. And as soon as I saw Pete Walsh, I'm like, that's it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Really? That's, that's it. No question. No questions asked. I'm in. And I was uh, sent the script and, it would. Uh, this is actually one of the hardest Dalek roles I've ever had to do because they didn't. We we were trying to figure. Okay, do we want it to sound like a regular Dalek, just you know, exterminate, or do we want it to sound a bit more like just a regular Dalek mutant talking? I'm doing it without the ring modulator. It sounds odd without the ring modulator. Yeah, it does. I mean, when when you've got the ring modulator and you know, it just sounds like this. So obviously, it's going to sound a bit more like a Dalek. See, I'm glad you did it on your own because I don't want to like whip you as like a performing monkey. Just do the yes. thing, do the thing, <laughs> do the thing. <laughs> eh. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I had it. I, I was talking to Joe. She was on the phone just a second ago. And she was just like, you know, you have to pull it through much. Like, it's already up. You don't even have to remind me. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I, 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 but, um, funny. I was yeah. going to say, yeah, yeah, we've had now both. Uh, both you, yourself, and Joe. So we've got the double threat. Yes, now. I've completed the set. Yes, the dynamic duo, the chaotic duo. Dynamic duo? duo. I don't know. Uh, well, this yes. actually reads. Uh oh, Luke, Luke Newman nicely. is coming after me because I said the word dynamic. Oh well. <laughs> Luke Newman's after me. I said the word dynamic. He's as long as you don't say works. Bust in my window. Okay, let's say. Where anyway. Is he outside? Um, but this leads nicely on with the ring modulator. Where'd you get yes. it for those who might want one of their own? Well, uh, it's a funny story, actually. Um, it's just a program on my computer um, called Reaper, which is the first. This is I, I've held this secret to myself, Ooh, but now route. I am. Ex but now I am giving it to the world because I thought, you know what? The people deserve to know. So uh, you have to buy it. Well, well, there's a free trial and you can still use the ring modulator on there. But I bought it just because I wanted to be a little sneaky. Um, it's a little expensive. 
but yeah. there have been times where I've had to dart back to the to the demo version, which is fine. It, it keeps all my presets. But yeah, um, Reaper. And uh, but I will not be telling you guys my settings because those are my settings. Uh, how much <laughs> oh, is it roughly? Do you know? Uh, it's about twenty four dollars a month. Oh, okay, that's not terrible. It's not that bad. It's not, you can just smash I mean, it all it's more expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's I keep a little reserve for it. But um, yeah, but yeah, that's got like my ring mod. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get a Dalek like bank, like, yes. like one of those like eighteen inch Daleks, <laughs> and just get it hollowed out. That would be yeah, awesome. That would. I need. I see. Here's the thing: is I have like posters that I was gonna put up like when I first moved into my new apartment, but I never bought poster frames because I've always had thumbtacks, and all the corners are just ripped to shreds. Oh, so blank wall. I've got. A poster from the spark which was uh from fractured timeline when i did staticus and i was gonna just have it just back there but i never got a poster frame for it <laughs> darn one of these days get a hashtag get luke uh photo frame yes the gofundme will be in the description there's no GoFundMe. <laughs> well it's all for a good cause so yes. Um, aside from the Daleks, you are also known, uh, for example, in Phipps Movie Productions, Siberian one, for doing Cyberman voices as well, which is yes. excellent. But the real question, the, the burning hot question that everybody wants to know, Mr. Luke Lane, which yes. one is more fun to record as? Ooh, I'm going to have to say Daleks because, see, would you believe me if I said recording Daleks is therapeutic? Because it you is. You'll have to explain so let's say, okay, Jack, you've had, you, you work in a nursery, you work around children who are just naturally annoying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you've come home after a long day. Maybe one of them got sick and you had to clean that up. Maybe one of them, you know, had to, you know, had a little bathroom accident and, you know, <laughs> as children often do. And, you know, you just want to come home and you come home and your cat's just peed all over your carpet. I don't know if you have a cat or not, but let's just say your cat peed on the carpet and it's just like, oh my God. So you come in, you get to your ring module. And you just scream your ass off. <laughs> That's why Daleks are therapeutic. Yeah. After a long, like hard like yeah. your modern side men is kind of boring as well. Like I mean, your your yeah. Mondasians are fun, but the normal one is just kind of here. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I I've got. See there, and also there are so many Cybermen voices. Well, there are technically so many Dalek voices too, but there are so many Cybermen voices that like, like the Earthshock one. I don't have those just like automatically pull. Well, I mean, I can just automatically pull those up. Actually, no, it'll take too long. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it real quick. Here really quick. Come shots. on, this is fast paced. There we go. Excellent. Am I even on the right one? Hang on. Let's see. Well, we'll see I think I'm on this one. I think, is it this one? Is this the right one? I don't know. You, you're talking normally, it just sounds weird. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, let's I mean, see. There's definitely on. something there. I just don't know what it is. It's, it's this one. This is oh, the there one. we go. <laughs> yeah. The other one was Devlin, which is my character in Overton Audios. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, this one is, which is what I did for the Halloween merch. This one, you have to talk a bit more bombastically, and it's not very excellent. Yes, he said the thing. <laughs> I said the thing. It's so stupid. That one word is just like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it's just like exterminate, you know, it's just. Yeah. I mean, Russell exterminate. Ah, you said the thing. It's like, um, I mean, Russell T. God bless him. He tried to make it delete, mm -hmm. but no, nothing's going to top excellent. No, uh, or just or destroy the. Uh, destroy you gotta say, I gotta say, destroy them. Destroy them at once. Is that Reaper as well? It's all Reaper. The only ones that I didn't that I don't use Reaper for are. Tomb of the Cybermen, uh, the cyber controller for Phipps movie because he wanted a completely new sounding cyber controller, um, which that one I used a vocoder, which is the same for the Tomb of the Cybermen. And um, I did a vocal recreation of the scene in Spare Parts where it's Ooh, like, you know. I liked that. Uh, um, it's like, um, 
The city must survive. The course of Mondas must be altered. A sacrifice must be made. It was all of that. So, and I use my um, vocoder uh, for the cyber committee, um, which was interesting to say the least. Because <laughs> um, I did two versions of it because I realized the first one was a bit inaccurate, and then I like. I just, there will be days where I'll just be sitting at home just like tweaking all of my little settings just to see, mm, does this sound exact? Am I getting to you, Briggs? Yeah. <laughs> am I com am I copying you yet? <laughs> um, and then I just decided, you know, I'm going to redo it because I didn't like how I voiced the 10th Planet Cybermen. I updated the voice for that, which actually that is my most inaccurate voice because for some reason my computer can't, hand can't like use the same effect. Um, that is actually used because that's the only Cyberman voice not on either a vocoder or a ring modulator. Oh. Um, it's used on something like a LCO, I believe. I could, that's probably wrong. After this, I'll text you what the real thing is and just graphic, uh, graphic over. Um, but John and Harper like gave me like a complete crash course on how to voice a 10th planet segment. And like, we couldn't even get past to me downloading the effect because it doesn't work on my type of computer. And I was just like, well, that sucks. Baka. But I get the same point across with, the, with my regular effect. Yeah, it works. I mean, you, you can, you can still tell that it's a 10th planet. Oh, definitely. You, yeah. It'd be yeah. awkward if you just forgot to put it on. So it's you going, ah, yeah, yeah. It's just like there's no effect like, on top. Police patrol ship hat. Wait, actually, uh, I thought maybe if I had like a cup around, I could just do it because it's that's kind of the same effect. Just you know, police patrol ship has been designated. I, I don't know the line. And if you guys <laughs> at home want to be a Mandas inside man, just get yourself a cup. We're Blue Peter now. Yeah, <laughs> here's one I made earlier. Here's what I made earlier. Seventy-eight hours later, <laughs> it's a it's a long trip to the shop. <laughs> Here's what you need first: a giant ass table saw. <laughs> but be careful because it's sharp. I don't know. We don't have Blue Peter down here in the USA. I, mean, I was gonna say that is a very sort of that is a very British reference you got. Yeah, over on in, in the US of A. The US of A. <laughs> So, uh, we you just did a little David Tennant off. You mentioned your um, your your uh, prodigy, not prodigy. What's the word? Your idol, uh, Nicholas Briggs. A moment ago. Yes. Uh, so, do you have a plan in place to take care of of Nick Briggs? Hmm. We well, see that would be telling. Ah, some secret you've got to keep. Yes. So, I, I will say this actually. Like all jokes aside. Vocalab Productions has had a lot of issues with the BBC because everyone thinks like like um, they released uh, an audio. It was the Twelfth Doctor and a Shilda. A oh, Shilda. I listen. To that. Is it a Shilda or a Shildir? Uh, I, I think remember. it's just me. Now. Me. We'll call her Maybe. me. Maisie, Maisie Williams. Williams. There you go. Maisie Williams. Love Maisie Williams. Uh, it was Maisie Williams' character, and they did a 12th Doctor audio, and they had to take that thing down and re-upload it so many times because the BBC kept getting in contact with them being like, hey, you can't use the official BBC logo. Hey, you can't use official BBC images on the oh, cover. They're, they're scared. And, yeah. So, and um, one of the writers for it, for uh, Vocalab, because they've got a few audios in production now, um, God, God bless Craig from Vocalab. He's had so many problems with this one 10th Doctor audio um, and 11th Doctor audio, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, so uh, I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, I'll leak that out. Actually, though. no, no, they, they put it on Twitter. No, oh, no, they did, know about. yes. It's the one with uh, Lorna Bucket. Oh, good old Lorna Fuck it. Yeah. With the 11th Doctor lied to her face. Did. He sucks. But it Dust. made for a good spoof. Yes. And a whole entire episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, end of, we'll get on <laughs> end, to that. End of but, story. Um, uh, end of story. Uh, Nick Briggs, run away. Uh, hide. He is coming for you. Watch out. Watch out. Exactly. <laughs> yes. But what's, but uh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. But so Big Finish and the BBC both know about Vocalab. And now that I'm a part of them, I, I have to be careful because I'm pretty sure Nick Briggs knows I exist. Nick Briggs. Which was pretty cool. Which is pretty cool, I guess. 
But it's cool until you get that phone call where it's just like it's a modulated hymn. Well, it's like maybe it's a Dalek. <laughs> it's just like you it's do- well, it's take that down. It's just the Dalek Emperor, just like <laughs> yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Wait, don't okay, do anything so yet. Get the right modulation. You will take that down. I am the god of all Daleks. <laughs> you know, you're just talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Oh, God. Right. Next question. Oh, no, my mini tenants. Next. Not my mini tenants. Oh, no. Um, I have just like half of a character character building Dalek. Just what happened? Oh wait, here's his head. Here's his head. Here's his head. Here's his head. Oh good. There, is. there we go. Sorted. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed. He, he sits right here. I have to. Re- I have to remind myself that I am not, in fact, one of them. Every well, day. maybe you are, and you're just not fully formed yet. You you need a life size Dalek at some point. I do. I no. Like I've got. Like I got on to pl- Project Dalek, which is like this entire forum. Of how to build oh, a life-size dolly, and I've downloaded, I've downloaded literally like the '60s, '70s, and the Imperial Daleks, and even a 2005 dolly. I'm like, what, poor Joe is gonna come home one day after a long week and just come home, and there's gonna be a life-size dolly just sitting in the bedroom, just just being like, oh, Joe will love it. Joe will do it. I've been thing. waiting for you, darling. <laughs> Joe will love that. She'll Venus splint it up and fight him. She'll snap she'll just, it. She'll just shoot an arrow into its eye stalk. Yeah, or something. it won't miss from across the room. Yes. Yeah, Joe is Poor Joe. terrifying. We love her. Yes. Terrifying. We love her, but I had to make sure she wasn't here. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm but scared. I thought someone was broken in again. Oh, go- okay. No, Last we have to talk about here. that. <laughs> I have to talk about that. I was at work, okay? And you and Joe were on the read through for episode one of the Venus series because An Angel Goes to War was the pilot. Oh. Um, yes. A lot of people are like, episode two. And I'm like, it's episode one, guys. That's what I was Angel doing. Was the- I'm in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're in it, Jeff. And so y'all were in the read through for that. I was at work. And all of a sudden, I just get a text from Joe to say, hey, some dude just tried to, like, just walked into your apartment. And I'm like, the, yeah. mm-hmm. so i'm in the i work at a pizza place which i'm actually wearing the hat to my job so pie society hi so you're, pre- you're <laughs> um, repping the community show and your pizza place <laughs> i'm branding my two like commitments yeah which i don't have a shirt underneath but if i did i'd probably be a venus flint t-shirt yeah. um that i don't actually have uh <laughs> but yeah um so i'm at work and i'm like in the middle of like like rolling dough and I just get that text and like, I turn to my boss. I'm like, Hey, I got to like take a take five. Cause I think someone just broke into my apartment and my girlfriend's home. He's like, go ahead. If you need to leave, go. And I'm like walking to my car. I, I and I called Joe and he's like, Hey, I'm like, the fuck's going on. She's like, <laughs> it oh, was a phone call. I'm like, you just texted me. You didn't say anything for like five minutes. I thought, Oh my God, she's been kidnapped. I have to go on like a manhunt. And like, and then like, no, nope, I'm just on the phone with Jack. It was really weird. I'm like, you're taking this very calmly, Joe. Yeah. And she's like, See, here's yeah, the thing. that big a deal. Here's that story from the other perspective. I'll tell you exactly. I'll tell you the bloody play by play. So we were chatting yes. away. At this point, it was just me and Joe because the rest had to go. Yeah. And suddenly she has one earphone off, luckily. And she's, and suddenly just mid conversation, she stops and just goes, just turns away. And I'm like, you're right, Joe. She just goes, Hello? And then she, there's silence. Then she walks off screen, like, that way. And yeah. then I hear a sort of muffled voice, like, talking to someone. And then she comes yeah. back in the room, her eyes wide like that. And I'm like, you're right, Joe, you look like you've seen a ghost. What happened? She said, so there was just a guy there. And he turned around and left. And I'm like, what? <laughs> That's so weird. It's very That's peculiar. So- and like I messaged her, I'm like, was it the maintenance guy? She's like, I don't know. And I'm like, <laughs> but what's weird is that I could have sworn I had locked my door before I'd gone to work. Yeah, I like no. was. Oh, I was she like ninety eight percent. I, I mean, when I came home, she was like, 
chill but like that was <laughs> that's still scary like no it's a I, thought glad I was here like, otherwise she'd be on i'm in with a sword i know i Ooh. like imagine like if like y'all weren't on a call and she was just like sitting on the couch like that oh. would have been just like terrible because my couch is right by the door it would have been like oh then again but, yeah this is was... joe we're talking about she the bow and probably arrow would have or a just... knife <laughs> she'd be <fun>. yeah <laughs> or a cat because my cat would have just been like eh. i don't know I've, uh, <laughs> but I've yeah, couple, it was very. I've very got a strange. couple questions left, so yes. So, so we're so, doing great. Thank you. As are you? You're doing lovely. Uh, oh, thank model you. guest. Um, <laughs> moving on to community show specific question. Now you've yes. been. Your name's been brought up many times. Again, I, I interviewed yes. Joe in the past, as well as many projects that you're in. You're like the Alia Tully yes. of Daleks. Um, yes, we love Alia. Now, and I came up, I happened to come up with just a little nickname. Just off the top of my head, a little nickname for you. So oh. what do you what did you oh. think about hunk.exe? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I remember it was the first, it was the was it the first episode of the pilot or or was it that little or was it that little like preview that you did where you were just like, okay, so I'm in Spectral Horizons and Venus Flint, and then like my picture just cropped up. I don't remember which one it was but I was with Joe and we saw that together the first time and I just dying on the floor and she was like are you can like did you see what he captioned the photo and she was like yes I'm like what is he talking about <laughs> I thought it was hilarious well I'm glad because here's the thing your I mean, reaction it's been, made it was more. my discord thing yes yes I mean we got to keep it alive it was my discord like I don't know what they call it like mood or caption whatever but it's like oh, yeah. you got like we playing hunk.exe like Jack Reeves. Oh shit. Ooh, hey. Jack Reeves was tired. <laughs> I just body slammed my mic. Need that thing. Without yeah. that, there is no Dalek. Yeah. There's no Dalek without the microphone. <laughs> yes. Yes. So last But yeah, it, I mean Oh, the last one already. We're on the last one. So oh, we first got in contact uh, a, a few months ago. Uh, well, well, no, it was probably last year. It was last year. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, it was, was last year. Oh, my it God. Was. It was like mid. We've known each other for a, a, probably over a year now. That's fun. Yeah, you knew wow. me pre-community show. You've seen me. Or maybe. No, I think it was actually in. Because we didn't start casting Venus until January. We're getting to a year. We're getting to about a year, I'd say. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. we first got in contact over Venus because you uh, messaged me saying you needed 11. I guess no one else was available. So uh, where did you... Well, you know the story his... about Joe and casting 11. Yeah. We had many people that auditioned and then one of them, some of them were just like, do you know what Matt Smith <laughs> sounds like? Yeah. Are you trying to sound like him? Yes. But you sound like Steve Harvey. What are you doing? How do you go from Matt Smith to Actual, Steve Harvey? I don't know, but he sounded like this with a British accent. And we're like, <laughs> I mean, you should have cast him. It sounds great. A little bit of Colin. That's, I, I think Joe is still in contact with him. I could be wrong. Well, I, I don't know because so, I want to cast him. As but that was that was one of the that was the one of the best auditions that we had. Well, one of the best, it, uh, as in like that was like that put, that made us all smile. Yeah, yeah so entertaining. The, my, this is more of a me question because obviously I, I know I do. Oh, business. of course, it's episode eleven. Got to get yes. the on. Um, but here's the, here's the question: I, How how did you come across me yes. to begin with? This is more a question for my benefit than anyone else. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, um, Joe and I had been struggling with casting cause we, we were, ha cause, uh, I was explaining it to people who I wanted to cast like Abby and Lauren. I had already known them and they were doing Jenny and Bastard stuff on TikTok. And I asked them, you know, Hey, do you want to be a part of this? But I was explaining it wrong. I was explaining it. Like it's a, it's as if like Jenny and Bastard had a kid. Like they, right. they, mm, something happened. Mm -hmm, yeah. They and didn't put up a pop, balloon or pop. anything. They, they didn't put up a balloon, which that's another story I'll, we'll have to talk about because that was funny. We, Laura and Abby and I and Joe had a Zoom call 
and we talked about just that one line and how we can rip it to shreds in Venus, but I'll get to that later. So I was explaining it wrong and it made it sound like it was very, very different from what Venus actually is. So we were having trouble casting. Joe was in a bad mood. I, it was my fault because I was explaining it wrong. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to start asking every male British person I know, can you do an 11, a, an 11 voice? And yeah, yeah, yes. But I didn't know you at the time. So I'm asking like, uh, I'm asking, you know, George Gaidra. I'm asking, um, I don't remember any other, other people. people. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I did. I think I did ask Dominic Raymond Martin if he knew anyone, because I mean, we all know Dom's voice. Uh, I, I did ask him if he could do one, but I knew he was with DW 2012. And I think this was around the time he started get like, he was just announced working with big finish. Mm. So I was like, I know you're busy. Is there uh. anyone you could recommend? <laughs> and um, in Joe's interview, she said, I asked Josh Griggs. It wasn't Josh Griggs. It was Rory Stock. Oh, I know. Um, Because I had asked him if he could do it. Yes. And um, hi, Rory. And I'd asked him if he could do it. And he's like, no, but I know exactly who to do. do." And it was the, I don't remember what doctor, it was, was it doctor who rode or was it just one of your spoofs? It was the one where you were playing young Amelia Pond just appears out of a crack in the wall. Yeah, that's the spoof. That's the one it was. That's the one he read. And as soon as because I heard Matt Smith, I'm like, that's him. That's that's him. And then I was like, wait, this is Joe Sh- series. We should probably recommend, we should probably, I should probably show it to Joe before. I'm like, yes, this is him. Because it's Joe Sh- series. And she was like, that's him. That's the one. I was like, yes, that's what I said. Oh, damn. And then we emailed you and then you were like, I don't need to go on a read through. I'm too good for that. It's not that I'm too Sneaky good boy. Shut up. <laughs> no, I know. I'm, I'm giving you shit. I'm giving you shit, my boy. <laughs> How dare you, sir? And then we scared you. My show, you You shit taught me. How dare you? Hey, we still got you with Dorium, though. Oh my god! No, I'm still pissed because you didn't tell me. And then I entered like all high and mighty, like, oh, I'm gonna be my Matt Smith. I'm gonna rock this. And then suddenly, oh, just the real Dorium. Okay, just the real Dorium. No, but like, (laughs) because see that that was the play. We weren't gonna tell anyone but like we had like a mock read through because we were going to try to do a read through and then like it didn't really go to go to plan like i think like just like half the people showed up like you said you were sick or something i don't remember but like everyone was just kind of like it, it just didn't really happen and then like we ju- were just like so we got simon fisher becker and i was like yo that's cool so like half the people knew and like i think maybe like the majority of the people who were in the actual read through didn't know so we still got that surprise from everyone but i remember because i (laughs) yes i remember i had asked someone to play him and i'm friends with simon fisher becker on facebook so like i have his contact but i didn't want to be like hi here's our little audio series would you like to be it and then someone's just like you know he you can like just ask the Simon Fisherbeck. I'm like, yeah, but like, yeah, dude, do I really want to? Like, mm. and I find I just swallowed my pride. I'm like, just I just typed out a message. I was like, send. And he's like, yeah. yeah, sure, just email me the script. I was like, wait, hang on, huh? I had to like, I had to like freeze myself for like 20 seconds. I was on the, I was on a Zoom call with um James York, our composer, and the queer doctor. Uh, and I was just like, I need to be called Joe real quick. It's like, why? We just got Simon Fisher Becker in for <laughs> Venus. And he was like, no. And what I did was I actually pulled Joe into the Zoom call because I wanted to see her facial reaction. I was like, so Joe, I have a little surprise for you. And I sent her the screenshot of the of the text he sent me accepting. And she started crying. Oh. Which, but tears of joy, tears of joy. And I I I I felt I was very excited because it it started to go uphill. Things were starting to to get good. So yeah, excellent. Got to love that Simon Fisher back up. <laughs> yes, and I remember we were all like just super like okay, we need to be very professional. We have the Simon Fisher Becker, Harry Potter, Doctor Who, and other actor in our presence. And he's like, "Hello, I'm Simon Fisher Becker. I play the Blue Potato." And then we were just like, "Okay, all serious." <laughs> oh, we can yeah, all bets are off. Have, yeah, we're gonna have fun. And then he mm, he called me out on a formatting error, and I was like, "Simon." <laughs> Simon, I basically called him fat. So, (laughs) yes, no, I want to go to a Comic Con where Matt Smith is there. I want to go to a panel and be like, So, I did a production with Simon Fisher Becker. 
And he said, Oh yeah. <laughs> that your favorite line was I'm old. I'm fat. I'm blue. Can, can you expand on that a little bit? And he's just, <laughs> Matt Smith's just going to be there. That's like, Next question. He's probably just next. Next, he's probably, next At question. this point, he's probably just forgotten. Like he's all about last yeah. night Soho now. He's got no time for that. Uh, Doctor he's Who. in. He's in Morbius, which is funny because there's Doctor Who Morbius, and then. Well, the, yeah. maybe he'll see the brain of Morbius. Mor- <laughs> yeah. How many lives have you lived, Doctor uh, Chibnall? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. We'll right. see. Well, thank you oh, for coming yes. on, Mr. Luke. You, uh, You're you welcome. are an absolute talent, and you've been an absolutely lovely friend to me since we've oh. been in contact. Yes, I've known you since before the community show, and I just want you to know how proud I am of you, you sexy lad. That's me, yeah. Home.exe and sexy lad coming at you. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I need to record it like an outro for this. Like, don't forget to click below to subscribe. <laughs> I've been so tempted to do that for the credits. Just right at the end. <laughs> just get Peter Capaldi's costume on. Just be like, don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official community show. Me. It's a must. Which is just Jack Reeves. <laughs> it's just your just channel, me. Jack Reeves. Just me. Yeah. Just me. Jack Reeves, you yes. <laughs> That sounded more like Chris Eccleston. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with Rose. that one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lydia's. Well, it's about time I got I you on, quite frankly. Yes, it is. You've been yes. on the list since the beginning, I think. So got me yes. in the end. Woo! Yeah. And then, and then at one point we'll have to do the li- the do it live whenever I get up there. Absolutely. Me and Joe, of course. Not just me. Oh, I'm no. not just gonna go to the UK again without Joe. Like that, that oh, would she'll kill cool. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll she'll Fly her ass down there and just mm, bonk. Dead. 